Classic Truck Rescue. Me and my buddy Lance. Say hi, Lance. Hey. Heading out to Grand Ronde, Oregon today to pick up a 57 Chevy big window short bed step side pickup. It's just a parts truck, uh, basically a shell, but it could be a project truck for someone. It's worth saving. That's why we're going. But another reason I'm going out there today is I've done a little research on this El Camino that's sitting out there. It's a 1970 and it's got SS396 badges on it. Um, the guy came right out and told me it's not an SS. It's got the cow induction hood though and all the correct emblems. And I uh, noticed last time we were out here that it has gauges instead of idiot lights. Um, so I'm gonna do a little more looking at it today and if it has one certain thing that I'm looking for, a rear sway bar. If it has a rear sway bar, I'm going to go ahead and put a deposit on it and get that back to the ranch. Uh, but we'll be back when we roll out there. Rick and Lance out here uh, picking up this 57 Chevy big window short bed step side. But while we're here, I'm going to go over there and look at that wannabe 70 El Camino SS that the guy says isn't a real SS. Uh, I think I can pick it up pretty cheap, and if it is an SS, I'm definitely going to do that. We'll be back. It looks like it's like it's bent here, but it's not. It's just because the bed's not on just there. Sitting all the on there. cab's not. And there's really not much here, but it is a good short bed frame. Uh, These big window, ca uh, the back cab sections are getting a little hard to find. It's worth saving for what I paid for it. But what I want to look at is this 70 El Camino over here. So this is supposed to be a not really an SS. It's got the correct SS grill though, cal induction hood. Problem with this car is it had a vinyl top on it. Well, I guess it was a black vinyl top. And that's what happens under vinyl tops. The good news is it doesn't look like it was left out because the floors are still really solid. Um, it's got a mouse trap for you too. It's got a couple mouse traps, <laughs> but it's also got. I guess it does. It does, it's got the clock. Um, it doesn't have the gauges. It does have the idiot lights. Okay. So it's not an SS. No sense crawling underneath it. I, I don't know why I didn't notice. I saw the pods before and I assumed that uh, the idiot light dashes had square pods and those are round ones. But even not being an SS, it's tempting <laughs> because it's a vinyl top car so it's not like you'd have to do a concourse roof replacement on it because you'd be covering up with vinyl anyways it's got all the trim for the vinyl top feels a little iffy under there I think Rick better pass on this one. I'd have jumped on it if it was an SS bit. I think we'd better just do our, what we came to do. And anyway, if anyone wants a fairly easy 70 El Camino project, let me know. Rick at ClassicTruckRescue.com uh, Also, if you're watching this, somebody suggested that when I have my videos going, I should mention that if you're watching it, hit the subscribe button because I had an elderly gentleman tell me he's been watching for a long time and never subscribed until his son explained to him that subscribing doesn't cost you any money. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. Sacramento truck. Uh, yeah, if you hit the subscribe button, it's not going to cost you any money to subscribe. All that does is let you be automatically notified when I upload a new video. 
Yeah, this is actually, see, this is the kind of cab plants. I've got a couple of trucks that have nice cabs on them, but the back of the cab was cut out because of a camper or whatever. Oh, right, right. And you could cut this part off and put it on the back of one of those cabs and For have sure. a nice big window cab. Yeah, big back window is still good. That's a $250 piece of glass right there. Yeah. So, we'll get her loaded up. Get on back home. It's got it's a it's got a 59 hood. Well, I wonder if this door will open. I'd really like to get a look at the min tag on it. But the VIN tag's right there. And that's not going to open. No, it doesn't have a handle. Well, there's a handle laying in there. It's the lever on the inside? Uh, there's, there's not a handle. Oh. It doesn't matter, because whether it's a 57 or a 59, it's still going home. Believe it or not, this rack right here, and he, uh pulled the rack off of that one over there for me mm -hmm. which I'm putting on a customer's truck that I'm restoring for him but these short bed racks are completely different and they're hard to come by so not a lot of bones here but enough to make it worth bringing home poor old thing That is definitely a parts truck, but there's a few good bones still left on it, folks. I'm thinking that bumper is going to try to bottom out on the ramps going up. Somebody will yeah. want this tailgate for wall art. Do you care if you because push of it. The no, I don't. I got tons of those bumpers. <laughs> uh, did you see this though? You, the problem you might have is this bumper might run into the ramps going up. Okay. It might not because if the tires hit it before the bumper hits, then you might be okay. Otherwise, we'll have to go the other way and you'll just have to push from behind. Lance, can you film? little minor adjustments.
Here, I got a sticker. I got a sticker. That one might come off right there. This side, this side might come off. I'm a dog person. Yeah. Yeah, I think you got a new friend over there, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> How far is it? It's like this ramp over is the problem. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're on that ramp over there pretty good, aren't you? Well, the whole, the oh, the whole thing. Corner. We're getting somewhere now. You ever, is, you ever see those real low drop tax? A friend of mine had a big time. Yeah. 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 If it, can you come back just a, a little bit, like that much farther back? Yeah, just a little tad. A little more tongue weight. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, there it is. Well, there I she like is. It when I see the tongue squat down just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. That means we ain't gonna be doing that. <laughs> Well, there she sits. Now let's strap her down and head over the hill. Yep, got her all strapped down onto behind the goof and uh, ready to roll out. Thank you, Lance. Appreciate all your help today, man. You betcha, buddy. And uh, I'll explain. Probably a lot of people saying, Rick, why would you buy that? I'll explain later. There's sometimes. Uh, you know, and this is the type of truck that a lot of people just send to the scrapper and crush it. And I'm looking all over and I'm seeing stuff that, that people regularly ask me for. And uh, it's crusty and it's rusty, but there's some meat left on the bone. Thank you for your help, Ben. Yep. It's Ben, right? Yeah. Okay. What's the dog's name? Gunner. Gunner. Thank you for being a good boy. Yeah, you're a good dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he likes to sit on your feet. <laughs> All right, heading home. Peace out.
Classic truck rescue. Got my buddies Lance. Hey Lance. And Randy. Out here helping me move out of the Stone Age. All you people can quit leaving me those comments about, man, you need to get a winch for that trailer. Because the mole's getting the upgrade tonight. Yeah, Lance went and got one, one truck with me. And he said, you know, uh, we ought to put a winch on that trailer. And I said, you know, I just happen to have one of those. <laughs> Let's get her done. They asked me for a wire brush <laughs> after I had just located a welding hammer. <laughs> it's like, man, you guys really want a lot. <laughs> From a guy whose tools have been hanging out in the woods for three years. Yeah. Like that wire brush, Randy? Yep. Yeah, yeah, get her done. <laughs> what kind of vehicle is that we're going to rescue tomorrow, Lance? Three quarter ton Ford van. Yeah. Oh, that's why we need the wings. <laughs> Neither one of us wants to come along that thing up onto no the trailer. Way. No way. Uh -uh, ain't happening. Nor push. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Randy's a good welder. Got a body shop. Also puts out some awesome uh, paint jobs. Him and his crew down there. I've seen their work. I like it. The mole's getting an upgrade. Yeah. Classic truck rescue. Finally got a winch on the trailer. Because Lance ain't using the come along. <laughs> test one. We're going for test one. We're going to pull the bus out, the new winch. See how this works out. Mainly to test the weld. this. Thank Which you, Randy. Test number one. Thank you, Lance. <laughs> I'm liking that. No more of that. It used to be like this. Look, Lance. This is how it went before. It'd be like, and then, and then you. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. Ago. I've had that winch for like three and a half years, maybe four years. Classic truck rescue. Moving out of the Stone Age, thanks to my buddies, Lance and Randy. Thank you guys!
button and then it's recording and you know it's recording if you see that counter going gotcha when you're done 